It's easy to get confused when looking for an auto-loading shotgun for hunting or clays. The choices are endless. Well, here's one that makes looking easy. Ed, this is a trim light auto-loader. I would have thought it came from Europe. Well, this is the Remington V3 Field Sport, 100% made in Illinois, New York. Welcome back to Gallery of Guns. With us today is Ed Mazio, Remington Product Manager. Ed, my grandpa shot a Remington Model 1100, and it was a great gun. What does this V3 offer that's different? Well, you see, for years, hunters have counted on the 1100, for almost 50 years, and almost 30 years, the 1187, which came later. But those are traditional American-style gas auto-loading shotguns. They have big steel receivers, a um, little bit outdated ergonomics, and this offers some lightweight reductions, aluminum receiver, and ergonomics that people are really going to enjoy the fit. You know, I remember that about the 1187. You know, in recent years, a lot of hunters have begun to appreciate the European-style autoloader. You know, with a lightweight receiver, slimmer geometry. The Remington V3 shows that even a 200-year-old company can kind of play in that market, and hopefully we've mastered it. How do they accomplish that? Well, we use what we learned from the Versamax and the Versaport gas system that we use in our 3.5-inch semi-auto. Um, the Versamax, for several years now, has been um, utilizing that highly reliable Versaport gas system. And the V3 is not really a downsized version of that Versamax, but it's actually a true 3-inch ground-up built gun to be the best and most competitive 3-inch autoloader on the market. So can you tell us how the Versaport works? Well, sure. It's a self-regulating gas system that kind of uses the length of the shell to determine how many gas ports are open. This gun utilizes eight gas ports. The longer shells, like the three inch, will cover up several of those ports, and the two and three quarter shells will open up more ports to allow it to kind of self-regulate gas. So it's self-regulating, and you don't have to change anything, say, for target loads or turkey ammo. You know, that's exactly the point. The fact that the ports don't require any parts to be changed out, and that the length of the shell kind of automatically regulates the you know, gas system and the amount of gas pressure needed to you know, run the operation of the gun, the gun can stay cleaner, it can have fewer parts and less parts to chain out, and it actually leads to much better reliability. And it seems like that would also let the foreign be slimmer. You know, absolutely does. That was a thing that we've had problems with on the 1100. You had to clear that large gas operation system, those rings. Those are in the days of the past. We actually now have a, you know, only two moving parts in the gas system. It's a lot trimmer, it's a lot slimmer, and especially up front. And it dispenses with the recoil tube and the buttstock also. Well, that's right. There's no longer an action spring tube, which allows us to get a much shorter length of pull. Um, it has twin action bars and twin action springs in the receiver, um, which help mitigate a lot of that recoil as well, but also gives us a more compact design. It doesn't require uh, the tubes and parts to be maintained and cleaned in the stock. So, you know, it can you know, allow you to adjust the stock's cast even left to the right. Ed, on the range today, I got to experience the three-position carrier. Can you explain a little bit more about how that works? Well, sure. Um, on a lot of our competitors' guns, there is a shell cutoff, which allows you to stop the shells from getting loaded from the magazine tube into the receiver. This helps you when you have to cross a fence or um, get on a four-wheeler, things like that. We actually wanted to do one step better, so what we decided to do was to extend the carrier, uh, not fork it so it wouldn't pinch you. It doesn't require any buttons to be pressed to load the gun. You can also cut off the mag tube, and you can lock the carrier, as you saw, to the top, making it very easy to load if you have gloved hands, reduced dexterity things like that for youth and for people who, you know, need a little bit of help to get the shell into the tube. That's a great feature. And the other control is the safety, and it's nice and large. It is. It's an oversized safety, but it also allows the user to flip it left-handedly. user can do that by themselves at home just by flipping it out and removing one pin. And can you tell us about the barrels? I sure can. This is a light contour barrel, which is going to help add to that, you know, lightweight 7.2 pounds that we tried to achieve, and we did accomplish it with that lightweight, fast-swinging barrel. And it doesn't limit your choice on appearance either. You can have it in blued steel and walnut, matte black and synthetic, or several camo patterns of woods and waterfowler. And you get all this at a price that's significantly lower than a lot of competitive shotguns. You know, that's true. We're actually able to keep the price down, but still be very proud to say that this gun is 100% made in the United States by American workers in an American factory. Ed, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. If you like the idea of a lightweight, fast handling autoloader that's American made, Go to galleryofguns.com and let the Gun Genie work its magic. In just a few steps, you can find your new Remington at a dealer near you and at a great price. And remember, your new gun comes with Davidson's guaranteed lifetime replacement policy. If you ever experience a factory defect with a gun you've purchased through us, we'll replace it absolutely free for life.